Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. Today's video is going to be dedicated to underrated brands that I have personally tried, maybe not even on my channel, but that I've just used behind the scenes and I feel like they need more love. Most of these brands are going to be a little bit more high-end. I think I have a little bit of drugstore. By drugstore, I mean more affordable. So I guess more affordable makeup. I really wanted to share these brands with you guys because I feel like they definitely deserve the recognition that they don't get. Um, I personally am at fault so that I get stuck using the same brands over and over again. So yeah, today we're going to be playing with some new makeup. I'm going to show you guys what these products do. As you can see, I did create a very bright eye but it's very basic and very toned down at the same time so i hope you guys enjoy this video grab your palettes grab your brushes or just grab something to drink sit back relax and let's go ahead and get glam together we're going to start off with the brows because brows is the first thing that i do in my makeup routine it's just a must i feel so weird without brows like my brows are pretty sparse so let's start off with the good brow day by the beauty crop which is a slim pencil i don't remember the shade of this but i know it's the darkest shade in their collection i also have here their beauty their bf full coverage brow mascara which is just like a brow gel setting with a tint to it so i'm not used to doing my brows without a pomade usually i will outline my brows and then I will go in with a pencil, but I don't have a new pomade to use with you guys. And so we're just gonna, gonna roll with the punches here. Okay, so it is a more waxy consistency. It's not very creamy, I would say, but there's still pigmentation there, which that's all that matters. I mean, sometimes with creamy pencils, you can get a little out of hand and draw your lines a little thicker than you want them to. And for me, this is actually a perfect consistency because, like I said, I usually go in with a pomade first to sketch out the brow. And then I will fill it in. And with this, it's not too much product on the brow. Okay, so before I go in and fill it in, I am going to take the brow mascara. Oh, okay. So it does have a nice little wand, not too big. Wow, that is pigmented. Okay, I'm only gonna apply a little bit because this is extremely creamy and very pigmented. And I'm just gonna blend it out with my spoolie. This is definitely not one of my favorite products as far as brow mascaras. I think it's just a little too liquidy and a little too much pigment. So I'm quickly gonna do this eyebrow off camera and then I'm also going to clean them and we can move on to foundation because I have the brand new Benefit Cosmetics. What is this? The Hello Happy Air Stick Foundation. You guys are gonna love this foundation. I have been testing it out for you guys, so I will give you my thoughts along the way, but let me do that and I'll be right back. Brows are done. I am definitely not a fan of the brow mascara. Like, I usually like my eyebrows dark, but these are like dark, so that's okay. We're gonna move on. Sorry if my nose is red and I sound stuffy. My allergies are all time high today. Um, I don't have a new primer to test out with you guys today, so we're just going to use this one that I've been using lately because I can't put down my Catrice primer, and I don't want to bore you guys and use the same primer over and over. So I'm just going to go in with the Smashbox Oil and Shine Control Primer. This one's really good for oily skin, even though my skin is literally not oily anymore. I'm not mad about it. Don't miss it. It's just weird, very weird that my skin is not as oily as it used to be. Okay, something that I do have to test out with you guys is this sponge. It is the revolutionary silicone infused sponge. It stays four times the makeup, limits germs, and it stays clean. And this is by the brand Super Sponge. This is what it comes with, super cute packaging. So if you guys can see at the very top, all this is silicone. Do you guys notice a difference of colors? So all this is silicone. And then at the bottom, you have your regular beauty blender. So now for the foundation, like I said, I've been testing this one out. So these are the two shades that I have gone in between. So this is 
number five, which is a pretty good match to my skin tone. And then this is number six, which is a little bit darker, but once I mix them both, honestly, they look really good together. So I'm just going to give these a little, a little mix. I got my sponge wet, so I'm going to use the silicone side to help me blend the foundation. Also, like I said, this doesn't absorb as much foundation, so your foundation will go a long ways instead of having to dip back in, which is probably the only thing that I don't like about a beauty blender is that it does absorb so much product. Do you guys see how beautifully this foundation blends out? It's very creamy. And then I'm just going to use this side to kind of blend everything make sure that there are no like streaks on the skin yep the foundation looks really good on the skin it almost looks like your skin but better now i'm going to go in with my born this way multi-use sculpting concealer this is in light beige i'm going to use this puppy oh my god this smells really bad i probably shouldn't use this okay i'm going to throw this away you guys that smells it smells like alcohol. Whew. Yeah, I'm not going to use that. Okay, whatever. I'm just going to take this concealer that I had uh, next to me. This is the Flower Beauty Light Medium Concealer. Yeah, see, this doesn't smell like anything. Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to go through my concealer drawer and see what I need to get rid of because imagine that would have burned my skin. I'm going to go in with the sponge and I'm actually going to take the silicone part first. I really like the way this blends out, you guys. Like you would think because it's a silicone, it would blend it out kind of funky. But it really does and it just takes your foundation so far. Your concealer. Um, I like that it has a little sponge at the, t at the tip or at the bottom because it really just helps with perfecting the blending just like this went into the edges so for bronzers i am testing out the beauty crop um sardinia sand bronzer and this is actually a highlight in this shade sicily sunset so we're gonna see how this uh looks i've never tried um any bronzers from beauty crop i have tried some of their eyeshadows and I really like their eyeshadows. They're very pigmented and very creamy. Okay. This that does have a nice color payoff. It's definitely a little more on the cool tone side, which you guys know I am definitely more of a orangey warm tone bronzer type of gal. But I do like the pigmentation on this. It's creamy, I can tell you that. It's very buttery on the skin. I'm going to take a little bit of the sponge, whatever's left on there as far as foundation. And I'm just going to blend out the bronzer. Now for blush, I have two new blushes that I've been wanting to try. These are the Kaleidos Lo-Fi Dual Blushers. So I have here the Lo-Fi Peach, which comes with a highlighter as well. So this is a blush. And then this one is the Lo-Fi Rose, which is a more rosy pink and then you also got the highlighter i think i'm gonna mix them both even though you guys know my heart belongs with a peach blush like look at how gorgeous this shade is and the packaging on these are crazy you guys like this is some good quality um blushes and the packaging is really pretty i'm gonna take a mix of both I think I'm going to leave the highlighter for the end because I do want to go back in and bake underneath the eyes. So now, let's see. Let's go ahead and start with eyeshadow palettes. So I have two palettes that I really want to play with. I just don't know which one I am going to use. So this one is also by Kaleidos. This is the, what's it called? The Escape Pod. Look at how beautiful the packaging is. Very vibrant, neon very me and then when you open it this is what you get these eyeshadows you guys are the most pigmented eyeshadows i have ever worked with and then i also have here the beauty crop um the 
Dawn Gazing palettes. And this is more of a pinks and purples. Also really pretty. Look at this gorgeous glitter. And it's super holographic. I don't really want to wear crazy, crazy makeup today because I am planning on going out. So I don't want to look too crazy, but I do want to add some color. I do feel like playing with this X Exoplanet shadow, which is this beautiful blue. And I'm going to pack it all over the lid. I'm going to do more of a one eyeshadow look. Then I'm just gonna use a small little brush to help me like blend the blue into the crease. I said I didn't wanna go loud and look at me wearing <laughs> bright blue eyeshadow. Where'd it go, Karina? I kind of did this off camera because I was just playing with the colors, but I did go in with Bossa Nova, which is like a cool tone brown. I just felt like that blue needed a little extra something to help me blend it. And look at how beautifully this eyeshadow blended. I'm quickly going to apply some mascara. I am just going to use this one by ColourPop. I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to take the shade Starlight Sonata which is this gorgeous, like, it's like a rose gold pink. Mm, that's pretty. For my lashes, I am going to use my own. These are my collab with Lash Kitty. I think we came out with these, or we came out, we came out with these, like, a year or two years ago. So I'm going to use the style Glam On and PS. I think all of these, if not... Pretty much most of these are back in stock and you can just use my code OMG lashes and it saves you an additional 20% because right now I believe they have them on sale. Don't quote me on that but I will have it listed down below in case you guys are interested. Lashes are on and let's move on to the highlighter. So I also have here this one by Kaleidos. This is the Ray Rider in the shade... Number three, Ray Ryder, duh, space highlighter, which looks like this. Again, your packaging is just absolutely stunning. But first, I'm going to go in with some glow drops. So these are also by the Beauty Crop. This is the Glow Milk Nourished with Coconut Oil Illuminating Milk Face Primer. This is in the shade Pear Pressure, which is such a cute name. And I'm just going to dot it. And then go in with a brush and diffuse it. Oh, ooh, that is pigmented. Okay, we are about to finish, you guys. So for lipstick, I think I'm going to go in with Rum and Raisin. This is also by The Beauty Crop. This is also another brand that is definitely, like, underrated. And I'm going to go in with the Liquid Lipstick, which is a nude. Ooh, yes. Well, that's pretty. I'm going to apply that to the center. And then to seal the deal, I am going to take this Pop Beauty Makeup Magnet Mist. It's an energizing makeup spray. I've actually also never tried anything from Pop Beauty. I received a little PR package from them a while ago. And I just haven't had a chance to try this because I wanted to try it with you guys on camera. So I'm going to go ahead and just spritz the face. All right, you guys, and this is the final look. So we are ready to go. Where are we going today, Lonnie? We're going to the aquarium yeah. with, with Bella. Mm -hmm. cousin. Her best friend slash cousin. So this is my look, and this is her look. She just got out of the shower. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And if you enjoy more videos, make sure that you are subscribed. Yep. Thank you guys for being here, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.